What's up everyone? How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a really good day. Um, in this video, I figured I would do a what's in my camera bag for 2022 and going on to 2023. Uh, so let's get right into it. So starting out with, um, I figured we would talk about what camera bag I use. Um, I've had the same bag for probably the last near two years that I've been doing photography um, and that is the Peter McKinnon X Nomadic uh, camera bag. Uh, this has served me extremely well. Um, it has storage room for everything I could possibly need. Um, I'm able to keep my drone in here, um, both my cameras and all my lenses if I need to. Uh, next up, besides the camera bag, we have my primary camera, Sony a7 III. Um, this camera by far is the best camera I've ever had. Uh, when I first started, I started out with Canons. Um, those worked good for a long time. And then I switched over to Sony here about two years ago and I've never wanted to go back. Uh, and then on the Sony a7 III, we have my G Master 24 to 105 F4. Um, this is just an absolute beast of a lens. I know that a lot of people like the 24 to 70 because of the 2.8, but for the price point, um, as a starter, 24 to 105 at f4 is virtually unbeatable. Um, so yeah. Uh, next up, we have the Tamron 35 f2.8. This is probably one of my most go-to lenses that I have. Um, there is very, very few times when I'm out shooting that I don't use uh, the 35 millimeter. Uh, it is all around just the most versatile lens I pretty much have um, for getting those up close shots, product photos, anything like that. 35 is your way to go. Um, and then as some of you may also know, I do street photography. And so this is the lens that I use for that. Uh, this is the Rokonin 14 millimeter uh, f2.8. This is a uh, manual focus, manual aperture lens, um, and it is very wide angle. So anytime I'm up top on a building trying to shoot an entire cityscape or something, this is the lens I'll be using. This uh, next up, I have my newest addition to my uh, backpack so far, or my photography kit, is actually um, the Weibo S uh, gimbal. This gimbal, is probably the best gimbal I've ever owned. Um, I've had uh, the DJI Ronin uh, for a little while, and then I traded it in because I wasn't using it very often. But then I found this gimbal, and uh, after testing it for a couple weeks from uh, my local camera shop, I went ahead and bought it. This thing is such a game changer. Um, the manual control on this thing is amazing. Uh, the fact that you can literally unscrew the uh, the feet off the bottom of this and uh, put them on the top here to give yourself more of a control is just uh, it is it is unbeatable. Part this would be my gimbal for a very long time. Uh, next up, we have my drone. I use the DJI Mavic Air 2. Uh, this drone is probably one of the best on the market um, for photographers and videographers. Obviously there are better drones out there, but the Mavic Air 2 is undoubtedly one of the best. Um, this thing is, it's just got killer specs, man. I, I don't know the specs off the top of my head, but uh, any type of uh, higher up videography that you've seen me do or drone photography that I've done recently, has all been on this drone. Um, these things are just killer for the price. I obviously have the camera I'm recording this on right now, which is the Canon EOS M50. Um, I would show you guys what it is, but I mean, you guys can look it up. I kind of recording with it, so I can't really show you guys. Um, and then I also have the uh, Momin tripod that I got as a gift. Um, I don't know where uh, you can get this tripod at actually, probably Amazon 
um, probably your local camera shop might have them. Um, but this tripod is really good for me. Um, so far I've been able to take it um, every single adventure I've had and it has worked great. I've had no complaints about it. Next piece that I have is the Rode video mic. Um, this is the microphone I have on top of the camera I'm using now to record all my vlogs or anytime I want to record any type of scenery when I'm out and about, this is the microphone that I have on top. Next up, we have the rugged SD card case. Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but uh, this little case is perfect for whenever you want to uh, go traveling, but you don't want to kind of lose your SD cards or if, or if you want to keep your stuff protected. Uh, this is just a very nice little case that keeps all of your stuff nice and organized, and it has been perfect for me ever since. And so that will conclude what is in my camera bag for 2022 going into 2023. Um, I hope you guys did really enjoy this video. If you did, um, then please smash the like button, go ahead and subscribe, comment, share the video. It really does help me out a lot. It helps me create more videos like this and other videos in the future. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.